Around this time, Keith was earning a word-of-mouth reputation in Nashville as a real musician's musician. I said, this guy is like the cat's pajamas. You have to hear this. This is real country music. This is what it's all about. And uh, that's how we got acquainted, because um, I was a fan. So we, uh, through one means or another, a bunch of us here in Nashville encouraged him to move to, to Nashville. Keith, now married to his Kentucky sweetheart, Kathy, did decide in the early 1980s to move to Nashville, where his friend Ricky Skaggs had already made it big. But Keith found that money and bookings were both scarce. He was basically starving to death, and uh, <laughs> he had no ready source of income, so every now and again, my wife and I would invite him and his then-wife, Kathy, over and feed them spaghetti and talk about country music and what we loved, and, and that's how we became friends.